Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on OpenMP implementation in Fortran. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be talking to you guys about the reduction clause. Now, the reduction clause is very useful when you and, and can be used instead of critical block, where you have some kind of an uh, updation operation that has to be performed by all the threads, one at, by all the threads, one at a time. Okay, let me put this in a simple way. Let's say with an example. Let's say you have some kind of an operation like. Uh, operation wherein you have to do a lot of calculation at the top and then uh, which can be parallelized by the threads and then you have you have multiple values and using these values you are updating a particular variable one at a time okay either by addition or by multiplication or by subtraction whatever it may be now the logical thing to do is that in during the operations where in the top uh, top options you can use parallel programming method parallel programming options to make the calculations do faster and then when you come across the particular block where in each value has to update a particular thread sorry each value has to update a particular variable then you can put a critical block and make the threads stand in queue and do the options one after the other okay now in this case instead of using a critical block um, critical block reduction operation is very useful what it does is that it, do, it does the, it makes sure that you do the same thing without uh, without any loss of uh, parallel pro without any loss of speed okay now you guys will understand this more and appreciate this value more with this example in a, in a minute okay what i'm going to do today is that i'm going to do the vector dot product of two matrices two arrays a and b and at the same time i'm going to do a summation operation for a for an array a in this in this program i'm going to do this serially and i'm using the intrinsic function as well uh, intrinsic function as well now I'm creating I'm creating a four threads and I'm setting some upper value uh, for n, whose and this n is used for setting the mat, uh, arrays size of arrays a and b. Now sum one, sum two, VDP one, VDP two are some variables whose values will will come across in in a moment. Uh, we all set this to zero. I'm initializing a and b to uh, a and b to value to in a, uh, to some values. Okay, they're actually the in, uh, they're actually the multiples of two from 2 to 2n 2 to 2n the values will be from 2 4 6 up to 2n for each a and b that's it and then you have and then in sum 2 will have the val uh, summation of the mat uh, array a whereas vdp2 will have the dot product of a and b and kept uh, stored in them next stored in them fair enough and here comes the juicy part of today's uh, tutorial uh, I just what I have here is I just have a small do loop inside a parallel do block with a reduction class. Okay. Now before we go across this reduction class, okay. Now and we before we deal with this, let me just compile and build and execute this program serially. Now if you execute this, this is quite obvious because of this do loop, the sum value is going to get updated by the each and every indice value, each and every indice value of uh, array a one, array a. And similarly, VDP will have the will be updated in each turn by the product of a uh, a1 and b1, a2 and b2, a3 and b3, so on and so forth. So ultimately, yeah, someone will have the you know variable. Someone will have the summation of a, whereas VDP will have the vector dot product of a and b. So if you look at it, there's parallel sum and the serial sum. For in these cases, since they are actually the same in this case, they are actually the same. Uh, VDP, uh, parallel VDP, and the serial VDP are the same. Simple enough, nothing straight, nothing complicated. Okay, now let's look at this in the parallel programming mode. Now, in the parallel programming mode, let's just put this put this open MP, OMP parallel do over here. Now, ignore this critical, ignore this critical block for now. Just look at this. We just have this particular loop. Now, because of ra bec this is a parallel do loop, and as a condition, all the threads will be active and be just split, tearing this loop apart and doing one iteration as per the choice. Okay, now someone is actually shared and some vdp1 is actually shared by all the threads and as a condition the race and as a condition race condition will occur they'll just mess up all the values uh, so as a condition so as a consequence if you look at run this shell script over here you can, you can clearly see during execution the values are not the same values are not the same so sometimes in some mirac uh, no matter how many times you run You'll get you'll get different different answers, but in some miraculous turn of events, you might get the same you might get the matching answer for the summation and the vector dot product. Okay, in like this case here. Okay, now this is not the right thing to do. The answers are getting spoiled up because of race condition. Now 
what can be done if someone and vdp are kept private that's actually the dumbest thing to do because uh, if you keep them as private the calculation will go ahead without any race condition and at the end of the day based on how many threads you have you have, so you have n number of n copies uh, n copies of someone and vdp1 and then you have to add up all those someone and vdp1 separately uh, which is like uh, you know you don't even need that honestly you don't even need that honestly okay another way to do, an another way i mean in that case what which i mean he just look, loop out, loop loop out of this which someone value and which some vdp value should we use there are four threads over here so you have four values which thread, which value to be used we do, just don't know okay in this case if you use something like first private or last private or something like that then it's going to absolutely spoil absolutely spoil the calculation so private value having private values is not a good thing the other possible value thing to do is that you put an omp critical block put an omp critical block okay between someone and vdp1 now this this works but if you look at it the comp if you look at it, the human the funny part of this this idea is that you're actually putting a parallel block on the outside and you're putting a serial block on the inside so ultimately this parallel pro uh, parallel programming option because of this parallel block over here and the restriction uh, restriction to uh, restriction of, of the critical block to make one thread at a time work okay you're just going to cancel out the parallel programming option available suppose if we have lot more options on the top and in the uh, lot more options on the top this is kind of like a be, uh, be, it may look like an ideal choice to do but for this example this is that uh, this is cl clearly not the this is clearly not the best idea to do so what is the alternative well thankfully uh, thankfully there is an alternative available from the open mp developers and that is the reduction class well, now what this reduction class does is that it makes it uh, you know Uh, it makes sure that the variables that we listed in the inside the class are available for that particular operation depending on the case okay here what is this someone and some vdp1 they are going to be in uh, uh, incremented you uh, incremented the uh, values will be updated using some addition operation so what you have to do is that you just have to write reduction you put plus sign indicating that the, these variables will be Uh, increment or uh, incremented or ma updated using an addition operation so this is the operation you have to involve so it's plus you put a colon and then uh, and then list out all the variables list out all the variables that uh, that will be that for which you know this reduction operation has to happen as a consequence if you put this what happens is that if you have any pa parallel operations occurring on the top they will do just fine and when occur, whenever one particular thread finishes a parallel uh, operation those values uh, gets kind of queued up those values kind of queued up in an optimized manner for the sum1 and vdp1 and based on whatever operation you do whatever whatever operation you do they get uh, they get merged up in that merged up in that way merged up in that way okay So here that here we need here we need addition operation so we just put a plus and that's about it. Suppose if you uh, suppose if you're going to have do something like a consecutive multiplication or consecutive subtraction or a consecutive division or consecutive modulus what you have to do is that in this case just put uh, this put according some appropriate symbol for instance if you want a consecutive subtraction just put a minus sign and uh, without forgetting it just put a minus sign over here and a minus sign over here. In, in case if you do something like a consecutive multiplication let's say put the multiply multiplication symbol and then put a multiplication symbol put a multiplication symbol over here as well and proceed with this so this reduction operation is available for several operators in fortran namely the addition subtraction multiplication i'm not sure whether it's available for division uh Anyway, yeah, this is available for AND operation or uh, equivalent operation, not equivalent operation. Okay, and uh, it's also available for some intrinsic uh, functions, simple intrinsic functions like maximum and minimum functions. Okay, so all you have to do is that you just have to list out the operator or the function, intrinsic function over here, and then click and then give a colon and then list out the variables the which on whom on 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 which these operations have to do. So we are doing now let's getting back to the example if we we are going to add up all this add up all this so uh re with the reduction blocks if i look, look around it no matter how many times i run the results are perfect okay 
and there you have it and that's how we that's our sim that's our simple like demonstration of how to use the reduction class now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll come up with another tutorial in the future on another topic so till then take care